As many predicted, the use of AI is already threatening the integrity of the election. Most recently, Elon Musk shared a generated video mimicking the voice of Vice President Kamala Harris. The post makes it seem like Harris said things she actually never said. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns is here in studio with more on these dangers. and What's being done about it, Tim? Yeah, Alma, since Musk shared the post on X on Friday, it's been viewed over 100 million times. And while he clarified on Sunday that it was satire, experts in the field argue carelessly promoting content like this damages election integrity throughout the entire country. I, Kamal Harris, and your Democrat candidate for president. This fake artificial intelligence generated video of Kamala Harris has been widely viewed online since being shared on X by tech billionaire Elon Musk. The clip, to which we added this disclaimer, used a cloning tool to copy the voice of Vice President Harris and pretend she's saying things she's actually never said. The video has renewed concerns over the use of AI in politics and has gotten the attention of several Bay Area lawmakers. I think it was really unfortunate uh, and, and I'd argue irresponsible uh, of Elon Musk to share the the obviously deceptive deep fake of Vice President Harris. Assemblymember uh, Mark no Berman way. has been championing more regulations on uh, AI generated material in California for years. A few months ago, he introduced a bill in the state legislature that would force social media companies to regulate this type of content during election seasons. To be able to identify this content and then when they do either to block it entirely, if it's if it's extraordinarily nefarious and, and damaging um, or to label it. Berman isn't alone in his calls for more oversight, says Tiffany Lee. Lee is an associate professor at the University of San Francisco and an expert in deep fake videos. Um, but it's not just a, something that the platform should do. The government should be taking some action. Lee tells me combating this type of content is about protecting election integrity. She says in a healthy democracy, it's critical for people to be able to have confidence that the material they see is real. So people might actually vote based on what they see in a deep fake video even if it's completely inauthentic. And that's dangerous in and of itself. Assemblymember Berman says he's hopeful his bill will become law sometime over the next few weeks, taking steps to protect everyone, no matter which side of the political spectrum they may fall. Voters want to believe in the integrity uh, of our elections and in the integrity of, of our democracy. And uh, so I think this is something that has remarkable bipartisan support. Now, Assemblymember Berman's bill is not the only one being considered in Sacramento currently. In fact, several lawmakers have introduced similar bills at the Capitol in recent months. Just going to show you how seriously our officials are taking this issue. And for Governor Newsom, he signaled he'll sign at least one of them. I'm in the studio tonight. Tim Johns, ABC 7 News.